fingers crossed. Hopefully, that. hopefully. But there's certainly signs of, of spring out there already. Uh, it's oh, the yes. time of year when you think <laughs> everyone in Savannah drives a green car because of all the pollen. And where there's pollen, there's itchy eyes and sneezing. And for people who suffer from allergies, it is a nightmare. Dr. Wassil Khan is an allergist with South Coastal Health in Savannah and has some great suggestions for how you can deal with the allergies here. Good morning, Dr. Khan. Morning, how are you? Good morning. Thanks, Thanks for being you. here. Uh, we were just Fair talking. This is, uh, this is a busy time of year for you, I bet. It certainly is. Uh, you know, pollen season for a lot of folks uh, who have uh, allergies uh, can bring all those things you mentioned, a lot of misery with congestion, sneezing, runny nose, itchy eyes. And it goes on here in Savannah for quite a while. So, Yeah, because it's not, you know, we're just seeing the start of it now. I mean, this will continue really through spring, won't it? Yeah, absolutely. Trees actually start in late winter here. They'll start pollinating as early as late January, definitely by February. And then the grasses come on next, and they pollinate through the rest of the spring into the early summer. So we have a few weeks in the middle of summer where we get a little break before the fall pollen. <laughs> and then the fall, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Over again. I'd, I'd never had fall allergies until I moved south. And then, because now I don't have spring allergies anymore, thankfully. Yeah. But every once in a while in the fall, uh, is, is it a different type? It's a different type of allergy in the fall, isn't it? Is it ragweed? Uh, ragweed is one of the major fall allergens. Uh, you know, as we go through time, different plants have chosen different times of the year to pollinate, so we get a whole different range of species in the fall, uh, ragweed being the most uh, notorious. Uh, so a lot of us have those symptoms, you know, but when do you maybe need to see an allergist and get some professional help? Because some people could just kind of put up with the dry eyes, but when do you know if you need to get tested? Well, if you have the symptoms frequently, enough to where it bothers you, you think about it often, uh, it affects your day, uh, it, you should get checked because a lot of different things can produce symptoms that can uh, be similar to allergies. But if it's not actually an allergy that's the cause, you know, allergy medicines may not be so helpful. So it, number one, you need to identify the problem, and an allergist can help with that. And uh, there are all kinds of medications that are out to treat allergies. And uh, which ones would be the most effective, uh, you know, most people just don't know. So an allergist can certainly help direct that care. And then uh, there's also a series of shots you can take, right? Because I know some people have difficulty getting very drowsy from so even the over-the-counter over mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, allergy medicines. That's me. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. The, the shots are another option, and, and uh, you only have three really with allergies. And I tell people this all the time. Avoid what you're allergic to. Sometimes it's not possible. If you have to go outdoors this time of year and you have a pollen allergy, you're going to get exposure. So if you can't avoid it, then medications to help with the symptoms, and if medicines don't work as well as you like or if they have side effects like you mentioned, uh, then you have the option of changing the allergy. And essentially, allergy shots and other forms of immunotherapy accomplish that. They, they allow you to sort of lose that allergy uh, over time so you don't need medication so much. So what's the process of you for diagnosing someone to get those shots? Uh, we do a, a skin test evaluation. Uh, it involves placing a small amount of the allergen on the surface of your skin. Uh, and if you have an allergy to what you're touched with, you produce what's called a wheel and flare reaction, like a little mosquito bite is the best way to describe it. Uh, so we test you for an array of pollens and, and different things that are in the air, or, or pets, or dust mites, uh, mold, and uh, we can identify what's possibly triggering your symptoms by doing that test. You have a lot of information on a blog that you do uh, with South Coast. Uh, just how can folks find that, and what type of information are you providing there? Well, we uh, touch on different allergy subjects uh, on the blog. Uh, you know, it changes every so often, and uh, patients can go there and learn uh, about the various types of allergies and, and their treatments. Uh, you can also go on there and make an appointment if you need to uh, at southcoasthealth.com. Uh, SouthCoastHealth.com, and then they can link to your your mm -hmm. blog. Yeah, I've been told you can actually make an appointment there, and read and, 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 and read and read, uh, and read all the information. Right. About so so basically, there. like mm -hmm. allergies one hundred and one information. But then you mm -hmm. also have some some locally specific information because Savannah is such a you know kind of a hotbed for, for allergies. Yes, yeah, I, I, I do uh, put information on there that focuses more on our local environment because obviously people are more interested in what's bothering them here. <laughs> Doctor, thanks so much. Yeah. Uh, you know, good luck getting Thank through this you. allergy yeah. season. As, uh, I know this is same, one of your busiest you times guys. of the year. Thank you. Yeah.